Yo, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to Pimp My PC. Now this is the show we try to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out your PC, but above all, make it cool. Now today I'm going to do a couple of more uh, Windows 7 tweaks with you guys. So we're going to step into my office and get started on that. But before we do, something I wanted to talk to you guys about. It's the 25th anniversary of the dot-com. Can you believe that? 25 years. That makes me feel so very old. Well, because of that, VeriSign's actually having a contest because they want to find out how the dot-com has changed your life. Now, example for me, very sad story. Uh, I, call it, I call it the great cat spraying incident of 1998. Now, I've been collecting comics since the early 80s, and I'm a reader before I'm a collector, so some of those comics were in bags and some of them weren't. Now, my cat, Casper, was, uh, was choked to me for some reason or another, so he went and he sprayed all over my comics. Well, you know how cat spray is, that stuff stays. So that hefty comic collection, gone. Enter eBay.com. Around 2004, 2005, those guys actually allowed me to get some of my childhood back. And because of eBay.com, my comic book collection is now at probably a little over half strength of what it used to be and growing. So that's definitely how, uh, how the dot-com has changed my life. Now, Verisign wants to find out how the dot-com's changed yours. So head on over to howdoyou.com and submit your story. Now, that story could net you 10 Gs. You hear that? $10,000 for your story of how dot-com changed your life. Or you could get a shot at winning one of 10 iPads which I think here in Canada is worth about $10,000. So, uh, so there's that, guys. Head on over to howdoyou.com, submit your stories. Now let's get on with my show. Now the first thing we're going to talk about is Windows 7. So they made some pretty cool designs, and if you open up a window in Windows 7, you'll see right away that uh, the border around it is all frosted. And you can see there's something behind it, but it's a little obscured, right? Now personally, I like my frosted on my mini wheats, not on my windows. So what I found was over at uh, sevenforums.com, they actually had a fix for that. Not only do they have a fix, they tell you how to do it, but they actually give all the files for you there, so it's in a one-stop shop. It's pretty sweet. All you have to do is download, uh, there's a, a file for the 32-bit flavor and a file for the 64-bit flavor. And what those contain are a DLL file and an EXE file that you're going to have to replace uh, in your System32 folder, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, the other thing you're going to grab as well, uh, just for the sake of, uh, of just keeping it simple, is basically your on and off button. So they've given you the ability to enable the full transparency for either the current user or all the users on the machine. Uh, and they've also given you the ability to disable it as well. So you want to grab those two. So basically, you've got uh, three files that you're going to download from this site. And then once you grab them, first thing you're going to do is, uh, is just unzip them. And you're going to head over to, uh, to your System32 folder. And I'm just going to get Maddie to flash that path up for me, because I know you guys get bored of me saying it over and over again. So what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and bring mine up here and head on over to it. Now you'll see I've already got the, uh, the DLL file and the EXE file already on my desktop just to make it easy for you guys and myself. But before we do anything with them though, we want to go over to that System32 folder and copy these two system files over to our backup folder. And I know you've got a backup folder because I can't stress how important it is to back up those system files before you make these pimps. Otherwise you're going to shed a tear. Maybe make me do it too. So I've already done that. Sure you have too. So what we're going to do is grab those guys now. So we're just going to copy them and head on over to System32, and then we're going to replace. So you see copy and replace, and if you've made your backup, definitely say yes to both of them. So now that's done. Then all you have to do, so that's basically all that's going to be done in your System32, so you can close out of that. Don't need to be in that folder anymore. And then you're going to head over to the Enable, which I told you guys about before, which is basically your on and off buttons. So we'll go into Enable uh, Transparency. I'm just going to do it for myself because it's my machine. Nobody else logs into it. So we're just going to double tap that uh, registry file, say run, and you'll see that it's going to do the registry tweak for you. That's just a prompt telling you what it's doing. You say yes, and that lets you know that it's actually been done. So it is just that easy, guys. And then what you have to do to actually see the change is log off and then log back on, and you should see some sweet transparent action. So I'm going to do that right now. So uh, why don't you guys just take a quick break? I'm going to log out, log back in, and we'll be right back. And we're back. We've logged out, logged back in, so now I can actually show you the meat of this pen. So what we'll do is just open up this folder here, and uh, you can see right away that I can actually see the icons that are on my desktop. So it's no longer obscured by that frosted glass. And I haven't been this excited about transparency since I ordered those x-ray specs for my Archie comics. But unlike those, this pimp actually works. We're really disappointed in those x-ray specs. Well, that's today's show, guys. Make sure you check out the show notes at butterscotch.com and hit me up at lucas at butterscotch.com. Let me know of any other Windows 7 pimps you guys want to see. I'm Lucas. You guys keep it unique. See ya!